Now, we have laws of motion, okay? Uh, this is another subtitle here. Laws of motion, uh, these you can utilize them. There's a condition, I think, yeah. When the acceleration is constant. What does it mean acceleration is constant? Before that, we have seen that when or what is the condition that acceleration is zero. And we stated that when the final velocity and the initial velocity are the same, okay? So in this case, we'll have uh, an acceleration equals to zero. But for the acceleration is constant, how is that? Okay, let's just make an, a simple example here. For example, now you are moving by the car, five, for example, kilometer. First of the thing that you are at the rest, so it'll be zero, zero. This is the your speed zero, okay? I, I will not mention the units, okay? Just uh, just that it is velocity, okay? So it will be zero. Then <clears throat> you go increase the velocity into five kilometer per hour. Then you increase it by another five, it will be what? 10. Here, 15. Here, 20. Okay, <clears throat> another guy, no. Another guy is saying, uh, or doing what? Okay, zero, same. But TJ increasing here, seven. Increasing here, 20. And decreasing here, for example, 100. He's just very quick. Okay. What do you think? Which, <clears throat> this is number one, and this is number two. Which uh, situation the acceleration is constant? One or two? <clears throat> well done, good. Yeah, you are absolutely right. <clears throat> Why is that? What's the reason? How just you know it is uh, constant? Okay, what is the thing here that it makes it constant? Why? Anyone can tell me why? I'm writing down the comments. <clears throat> yes, very good. Yes, it goes up by five each time with the same intervals of the time. Okay. Yeah, good, good job. Same change along the time. This condition, same change. Okay. This condition. Good job, guys. In this condition, only you can utilize these laws, okay? Only utilize these laws, okay? And some question maybe will mention to you that it's constant acceleration, so you will understand it will be utilized this. And as I see that from the question, from me, from my side, and as I see the questions, most of the time they mention this law, first one, which is the easier and simplest one, okay? But it doesn't mean that you ignore these two, but most of the time, first one. V final equals V initial plus the acceleration times the time itself. So what if the time changes? Okay, this, okay, Basil, so this is, uh, no, in this case, we, uh, our reference is the time, okay? Our reference is the time. And based on that, for example, our reference is the time, it means that we look at the velocity uh, by intervals, for example, let's say one second. Okay, after one second, what is the velocity? Okay, it is five kilometer. Then the second second, two second, I mean, it will be 10 kilometer, okay? And so on. We don't touch the time, okay? If you just touch the time, okay, you will go to another story. Just focus it this way. Okay, Faisal? <clears throat> okay. Well done. So, uh, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, is it clear, Faisal? Just mission one. If it's clear, mission one, okay? Okay, I think it's clear for you, Faisal. Good, good, you're welcome. Okay, oh, let's just see, is it, really? See, how is that? Okay, let's see. Velocity of an object changes from four to 7.5 in one second. Calculate the acceleration, okay. Now, if we notice that we are given some data, four meter per second to 7.5 meter per second. Okay, now if we, what, how to do this, you need to, uh, state the law here, Vf equals Vi, okay, uh, 80, okay. What will be Vf, the final? Final is what? 7.5, isn't it? And this is the velocity, final velocity, Vf, because starting from 4, ending with 7.5. This is the final, which is 7.5, okay. Vi, it is what? 4. And... Uh, we are asking about the acceleration itself. So plus A, which is not known, times one, 
with the brackets, okay? So what we will do that, A will equal, we need just to move this with minus, it will be 7.5 minus four, yes, over one, good job, Ahmed. So it will be, good job guys, well done, 3.5, yes, exact, 3.5 meter per second square. This is A. Okay, yeah, well done. So as you state that, guys, it will be C. Okay, double correct. Is it clear, guys? One yes, two no. Clear? Very awesome. Well done, very good. <clears throat> okay, or something to two. Okay, 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 again, 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 because we have many questions uh, regarding, the, regarding this, so let's explain it well here. Okay, look at this for some. You need, first of all, that you will utilize these three, one of uh, these three laws, okay? In this case, we how just to know which one you will utilize? You need to understand the given data that you are you, you have. Okay, first of all, that four meter per second, let me just write it down, which is the initial velocity, because starting from four, and again with 7.5. So this is V initial, VI, which is four meter per second. Okay, for the final 7.5, okay, because it is the final one, 7.5, final velocity, meter per second, okay. Okay, and also we are given the time. It is one second, T equals what? One second. Okay, we were asked about what? The acceleration, okay? And A, it's not known, okay? If we see what we are given and what we are not given or what we are asked, we look at the uh, laws here. We are given VF, we are given VI, we are given the T, all we have A. So we can utilize this law. We, we don't need to utilize these uh, two uh, laws here, okay? So if we utilize them, if we set them VF equal VI, okay, plus AT. If we substitute here VF, it is 7.5, and VI, it is what, 4, plus A times 1. Oops. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, class, you need just this four. You need to bring this one here. So it will be 7.5 minus four equals A times one. It is A for sure. Okay. So it will be what? 3.5. Is it clear, Hosa? Okay. So let me see. Here we have some question. Okay. Good. Good job. Very good. Let me just see it. Some comments here. Uh, in a situation like this, we have to use uh, this equation. Can't we solve it directly? You can solve directly. Remember, sometimes you can solve directly. Class, you, for example, you subtract and you divide, and this is the law of the acceleration. You can, no problem, but just make sure. For the mechanics, there is only three rules, right? No, still, let's just finalize this chapter and we will uh, and we will uh, see if it's okay. Okay, well done. Good job, guys. Okay, see the time. Okay, still, okay, maybe we can solve one question. Okay. Okay, so I think it's clear up to now. Uh, okay. <clears throat> now, we have an object moves from rest with a constant acceleration of two. Its speed after seven seconds is what? Okay, Amar retired saying uh, D and even supporting Yara and Abdullah. Okay, D is it D? Okay, it's 40 meters per second. Okay, let's see. From rest, this is what? What is this, guys? Rest, what do you think? It's equal to what? Yeah, VI equals to what? Yeah, exactly, it's zero. So VI equals to zero. Very good. A constant, oh my God, a constant acceleration. A constant acceleration, what do you think? It means and it implies to which equation that we can utilize, okay? What do you think? The rules, okay, that we have told you. Yeah, exactly, the, the rules of the motion itself. Uh, constant acceleration, okay? So in this case, we utilize one of them, or if you can't solve the directive, it's good, okay? Vf equals vi? Uh, no, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see if it's okay? An object moves from, Rest, okay, with a constant acceleration, it's speed, okay. Now, we have this acceleration, which is A, it's constant, two meter per second square, and we have uh, its speed, we are asked about the VF, 
Okay, we are not, we don't know because it's speed. He asked about its speed. What will, what will be after seven seconds, which is the time t equals seven seconds? Okay, same thing. We need just to uh, substitute. What do you think? What do you think, guys? What do you think, Faisal? What's the answer here? If we substitute vf is not known, vi it is known, which is zero. I will substitute directly here plus a, which is what? How much? It is two. Good, good, guys. Yes, good job, Abdullah. <laughs> good way. It's like in GT, uh, GAT exam. Yeah, similar to it. Okay. Two times, uh, two times uh, what we say? Yeah, seven, which is the time. So to be what? As you say, yeah, zero class, two times seven, it will be 14. Yes, exactly. Meter bridge, second. Oops, meter bridge. Clear, guys? <laughs> is it clear? Yeah, I'm sorry to be a little bit maybe quick and fast. I'm not like this actually, but uh, you know the time. So please focus with me and write down the notebook. Uh, the notebook. Abdurrahman is saying two. Okay, as we see the time. Okay, quickly, Abdurrahman, and we will just take a break. Okay. Uh, say, Abdurrahman, we see here the uh, given data from the rest. So it means that starting velocity, rest. Rest, it means no movements, okay? It means that the initial velocity is zero. Okay, this is one point. Second point, with a constant acceleration equals to what? Two. This is A equals two. Okay, this is done. Halas. Okay, it's speed after seven seconds. Okay, T, which is seven seconds, which it means given, the time is given, seven seconds. We are all asked about the speed because you're asking about the speed. What will be the speed after seven seconds? Like this. In this case, we need to utilize this law again. Vf equal, which is this one. Vf equal vi plus a times c. Okay. Now only we need just to, to substitute v. Uh, Vf we don't know about it. We are asking about it. It's speed. Vi it is zero. Okay. Halas. This will be zero vi because here it is zero. A it is two uh, two because we are given acceleration a. Time is seven. Halas. Multiply seven by two. It will be given fourteen. Is it clear, Abdurrahman? Now. If it's yes, just write down one. Clear? Okay, very good, well done. This question setting, uh, a car, my voice is clear guys, huh? Write down one. Okay, well done, okay, very good. So, uh, now a car accelerates, I see uh, you are saying that it is D. Okay, very good. Six seconds. Okay, the lowest uh, value. A car accelerates from rest at constant rate five. Again, the same way, the systematic way that we are solving it. The time required for each speed to reach thirty is equal. So now from rest, we know that from the previous question, from rest means that again we collect the data here. V i is zero because it's from rest. That acceleration it is a equals five meter per second square, okay. And we have again that for speed to reach this is the final speed which is vf, which is equal to thirty meter per second, okay. Is equal to so we need the time which is the t itself. Again, that we can utilize the time the rule that we have we have talked about which is vf equals vi plus a t. Okay, uh, VF it is 30, VI it is zero, خلاص, we don't mention it. Uh, and A it is how much? Five times C. Yes, good job. Yeah, yeah, good job. So it will be what? T equals to what? 30 uh, divided by five. Okay, yeah. Yes, you're right, was Good, good job for, for this. Good, so it will be what? Six. Yes, you're right. So, as you stated, guys, it will be D to six. Very simple. Okay. Yeah, we need just to put this level correct with one stroke. Okay. 